This is the most famous little boat cat on all of TikTok. 11.6 million views. He doesn't even know it yet. Hundreds of thousands of people would die for you. Phone is absolutely blowing up right now. Boat tour, let's go. We're famous. I'm just known as the girl that got killed in the video. The kidnapped girl. Why would you get on a boat with a stranger? We've had some people ask about the litter box. And this is Calcifer's litter box. Let's invade his privacy. Let's invade his privacy. Yeah, we're not gonna. But that's his litter box, which is actually right underneath our bed. Does it stink? Rarely. Just clean it out a bunch. But if it does, you just move it in the head. It was underneath there, but it was a mess to clean. So that was actually worse. That spot's pretty good. Look at that guy. Good job, buddy. All right, we're leaving you alone. Bye. The biggest thing that affected the litter box situation was just teaching him to cover his business. Because surprisingly, unsurprisingly, when he was five weeks old, he didn't know what he was doing. But he, he learned really well. He did a good job. Hey, Calcifer. How do you like living on a boat? He hates it. How do you like living on a boat? Ready? I'm ready. Just lock up the boat. Let's go. Board is so loud. <coughs> Bunch of kids on daddy's 150 horsepower Mercury making fun of our three horsepower Kingfisher. Look at that Kingfisher. Come on. Whoa, this popsicle sound. Absolute trooper. That is so heavy. Audrey is just dead. How much do you think that weighs? Thingy, probably 150. No, I mean back. 150. We're gonna park the bike, go back to the boat, and get the laundry, come back, and do some laundry.
I love those lights. They look so good. Little solar lights. All right. I like that we can see the cockpit and like outside the boat at night too. I don't know why, but I get freaked out about people getting on the boat at night and stuff. So I like that we can see. Also, it makes people less likely to come over and climb on if it's lit. It is another day. We got the bike out I have again. The cutest I've ever been. Yeah. Look at it. It's so cute. We got a package, but I don't think it's going to be there because it was shipped by the wrong carrier. When they said it was going to be UPS, I shipped it to a UPS and it was sent through USPS. That's going to be fun. I went to a CVS. They do. UPS. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> it was supposed to be UPS, but it got sent USPS and now it's at a CVS? Yes. I sent a package to a CVS because they handle UPS packages. They do a pickup. It's like a UPS drop-off pickup location. And then the people I was contacting with, they're like, it'll be shipped UPS. I'm like, great. Here's the address for a UPS pickup. And I also sent them a link for the UPS pickup address and everything. Like, this is UPS. And then they sent me a tracking number, like, way late. So, like, it was delivered three days ago. USPS. So now we got to go all over Tarnation to track it down. Yeah, or just count it as a loss. That's one thing that's great about getting mail on a boat is difficult. Phew. Bless you. What are you doing? I just got ready and now I'm ready to go and help you get the bike in and zoom zoom. Yeah, so we're not really done with boat life, but I have listed the boat for sale have listed the boat for sale. We showed it to one person. He's kind of all over the place. But we are done with this boat, I think. Right? Yeah. Unless if it doesn't sell, then we sell it back to Maine, and that's another adventure. We are just trying to get away from the hurricane zone before hurricanes, because, you know, our insurance doesn't want us to be here. And that, I don't, insurance that's non-existent. I don't have insurance on this boat. Uh, we're going to go to town. Let's see this bad boy start up. One pull. All right, the CVS now. Let's go see if they have the package. Got the package. USPS. She was having a hard time trying to scan it because you can't scan USPS with the UPS app. Let's open it. It's a cool cowboy right there. Fancy glasses. Sunglasses were a success. Now we got the orange. Blah, blah, blah. We got the orange drinks, like cool frosties. They're pretty good. It's pretty good. Sunglasses, pretty cool. Wanna do a trail? Yeah. Lucky. Oh, you guys should check out what I did to the water pump. So the water pump has been damaged several times with the water being on the floor while we're sailing, it tips over and then water got into the circuit board. <laughs> and so it stopped working with the button on top. So I just taped this nine volt battery to the back of it and I had this little battery patch uh, for plugging nine volt batteries into things, soldered the wires up to the motor. And now you just like press the contacts together 
when we have water. That's one of my favorite water pumps. Uh, we still don't drink the sink water because it's gross in the tanks. We still need to clean them out. Tomorrow is actually pretty exciting because we're getting Audrey what? an e-bike. I know. I'm so excited. Uh, I said yes to another e-bike sponsorship, so we'll have another one. But this one doesn't fold, so that one's going to be annoying. Uh, but we're going to take this one out and go to Publix. Um, I just found $20 in my pocket. You owe me $20. Shoot. I just paid you twenty dollars. Cows for you owe me twenty dollars. That's spend wild. This on cat food. Cat litter. We are about cat food. Oh, that's true. Cat food. I'm panning the camera around wicked fast. People are gonna be so mad. Screw you, old people. Hey, stop scratching the couch. Anyways, we have listed the book for sale because I want to sell it down here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Calsfer is so guilty right now. His claw is still attached to the settee. There you go. No scratching. I'm still trying to sell this, so it needs to look pretty. Oh, 